Hi ladies, I'm Ashley Keller from Glow Body PT and this is the workout you need if you want to have runner type definition legs without actually having to put in the miles to run. I'm typically a runner mother, but I haven't run since August and it is now January here in North Carolina. And I attribute being able to get runner's legs without running to this workout combined with the resistance training and lean fast on cable plan and the cardio series that I've been doing indoors here and there throughout the holidays um, just to keep up my cardio. So all you need is a box or the side of your deck or playground equipment or even stairs or a trunk, something sturdy that you can step up onto. And instead of making excuses about the size or not having a nice rogue box, just do the best you can with what you have. We're going to get started with just regular step ups and two, one. So alternating feet all the way up and all the way down. Tap the alternate foot at the top. I'm a mom of four. I'm also a military spouse. Luke's away currently for one week of tr army training. So it's just me and the kids. And this is my real life of what it looks like. And I like getting my workouts outside sometimes because I think kids are happier. And honestly, I'm happier too. And if you are a runner, this is the perfect workout to plug in on a recovery, aerobic, easy run type of day to maintain your running strength as well as improve your stability. Usually I do workouts from my 10 minute plan to do all my injury prevention when I'm running. But this is another great one that you'll now have in your toolkit. And last one give you a short little 12 second rest intervals. We are moving on to staying on the same leg the whole time, keeping the foot on the box, stepping up and down. This leg will never move. Put as little weight as possible into the rear leg that touches the ground. Think of it as using a cane. You're just going to kind of bounce off it, but this powerhouse, the leg up on top, this is what is moving your body weight. I'm really grateful to have a range of kids and ages. I usually put Gavin in charge of the youngest, which is Laurel, who's one, and then Riker, who's in seven, in charge of Ava, who just turned four. And that structure, having known responsibilities in my home really helps. Two, one, rest it out. Keep track of what leg you're on. We're doing this again, other leg, next minute. And three, two, mount your leg, get ready to step up and step up. Imagine the leg that is landing as a not very stable twig. You don't want to put a lot of weight on it. This is your strong central moving system, the front leg that is in the forward. For those of you who are runners, you need to have a great amount of single side stability since you're constantly shifting your body weight from one side to the other. Exercises just like this routine increase your hip stability. They'll also improve your knee drive and increase the efficiency of your stride. And three. Two, one more. Rest it out, shake those legs out. Yeah. Preparing for box hops. The really hard explosive plyometric intervals are right here in the middle. Really stage your box, get a good look at it before you get up. Never hop down from box hops. Come to full extension. This is what I can't stand seeing when people don't stand all the way up. Hip extension is what makes you use the glutes. <laughs> 
20 seconds to go, ladies. Rest it out. Now working on single-sided explosiveness. It's really going to train the outer part of the leg that often gets neglected because runners tend to go forward and backwards. So we're really gonna work from the side and hop up. At the 30 second mark, you're going to change legs. I'll give you a little three second countdown before you change legs. Notice the hop that's happening at the top. You'll also be doing these in booty finisher three inside the 10 minute plan, which is another highly effective glute workout where I employ a little bit of step ups using a chair or a box or whatever you have at home and switch. Waste as little time as possible when you switch. You're working on your trick cycle. The boys and I learned to skateboard over COVID and it's something I never thought I would do, but as a 34 year old woman <laughs> last year, we did it and I'm, I'm glad that we did it. It's a good way to grow with my boys and do something that is fun for them. And I really enjoyed it. And so I actually use a longboard, much more stable than a skateboard. We're going to step up into a knee drive, step down into a rear lunge. Note that you're stepping up on the same leg every time, and that's the same leg with which you lunge. Knee drive, strong abs, and lunge. Give me long legs, really reach back. Turn those hip flexors and abs on, knee drive. Get low. You're sneaky, getting below a window on this rear lunge. And step up to explosive, go. Two. And last one, good measure. Check it out. Remember which leg you're on. Carolina over here with me, really cute. Yes. Something that really bothers me is the message of the world is that your life is easier if you're kid free. That you'll be able to achieve your goals if you just think about you, if you study you, if you take more personality tests, you can figure out what type of Disney princess you are. Our current culture is revolved around you and your self-development, eliminating toxic people, distractions from your life. Well, I'll tell you what, kids can be pretty darn distracting, but they are the biggest blessing from the Lord. And when you seek him, he will increase your efficiency and your productivity and your determination as a mother because he calls us to do hard things. And motherhood is hard work. Yet it's also sanctifying and glorifying to him. Rest that out. Love you, yum yum. All right, we're gonna be stepping up, getting you into a balanced pose, a essentially single leg Romanian deadlift up here. Balance, balance, balance. You're gonna lean forward. We're gonna step down, stay on that same leg. Step up, lean forward. Fingertips do not need to touch down. This is greatly variable on a few things, your cue angle, femur length, torso length, your range of flexibility, posterior chain strength. So if you feel like this is where you're at, girl, I'm okay with that. You're going to make progress. Keep doing this routine. Please don't do it more than once a week. However, it's quite intense, but you can't not improve if you keep doing this. Ah! 
drive glutes back, hinge, 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 shut the door and lower. One more. Remember what leg you're on, we're gonna switch. And two, one, prepare to step up, get your balance. What I don't want from you is bending over, hunching like this. It's not good for your posture. It's not doing anything for the posterior chain. Want a strong back. The hip hinge is what lowers down your arms, not a curve or reaching of the upper body. Hinge of the hip, your upper body will lower. Imagine a pull from the tip of your head all the way down to the pelvis. Keep that pull nice and straight in the back. If you are a runner, this is doing magic for your ability to power up hills because of the way it's training all of the micro stabilizers and the gastrocnemius in your calves, as well as your hamstring and glute stamina. Rest it out. Sit on your box or bench, one foot forward. Stand up, rest the rear foot up. Getting ready for Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna do about 30 seconds here and then we're gonna switch sides. Last exercise of the day, baby, to get your runner legs without having to run at all. Do know that I love running. It's included in my plans if you want to, but there's always also additional alternate cardio, cardio options included. In case you don't wanna run or you can't run for various reasons, I get it. I want to have options for everyone. Trip. Switch, if you didn't hear that. Laurel did a little face plant and picked herself right back up. Pick up the speed. Maximize those reps. And rest it out. Congratulations, you did it. I want to stretch you out there. Take the opposite leg, the far leg, reach it up and rest the outside of your foot on it. And we're going to reach over. Now, if you're like, hey Ash, my step is actually a lot shorter than yours. No problem, this is what it's going to look like. Your step is more this size. Put this up here. Bend your leg just like a flamingo and reach over. You cannot beat this stretch for your TFL. Women who have tightness in the TFL tend to get IT band syndrome and patellofemoral syndrome in the knee, AKA runner's knee, so this is a great way to really stretch out this area. And five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. And reach over. And if you're shorter, if this is down lower, we're going to bend one knee, sitting back into it, not drawing the knee forward, just sitting down. Gaze is up at the crevice of your elbow. Reach farther over with your long fingertips. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Now we're going to lengthen the hamstrings. Draw one knee to your chest, and then improve your range of motion by pulling towards the chest. Hinging the leg out, strengthen your quads. Now we're gonna let it fall down onto your box or bench or whatever you have. Inhale with me, and exhale. Feel a heavy upper body dropping down towards the ground. Nose is reaching towards your floor or the grass. If you can reach your toes, you're going to grab them and bring them just like there is a piece of yarn tying from your toes to your knee. I want you to shorten that yarn, ratchet strap, wrap, ratchet strap it tighter and get greater elongation here. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Now come to standing, leave your leg exactly where it is. Opposite arm as the leg that's extended, hook and reach. Gaze is behind you. I want your eyes on your thumb. Think about wide toes, you're balancing your foot. All the little muscles in your leg are turning on to keep you nice and stable. And five, four, three, two, one. And feet come together. Inhale, draw quadricep up towards chest. With your hands, pull it a little bit closer. You're thinking about extending your leg nice and long, keeping the knee as high as possible. Tighten the quads and allow it to slowly lower. Inhale with me up and exhale. So this is called reciprocal inhibition. It's when the opposing muscle tightens and flexes, which your quadricep just did, and then the other muscle is allowed to lengthen to its full extent. So if any time, remember, grab your knees and like a ratchet strap, um, grab your toes like a ratchet strap, pull it closer towards your knees. Leg is staying nice and flush. If you can't reach your toes and you're like this, you're going to decrease how far you're leaning forward. So get to the point where you can fully extend and lock out the knee and then hinge forward. Reaching the toes just an added benefit. So if at any point you want to get a little more flexible, you're going to tighten your quadricep. And it's going to allow your hamstring to come to full extension. And five, four, three, two, one. We're coming up, torso is coming up flush. And opposite arm is going to hook and reach out, gaze is on your thumb behind you. Ladies, whether you are a mother or not, I wanna thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience and understanding what it's like to have a full home, to have a full life, to have kids running around and to give them a safe home where they can be themselves. I really hope that you enjoyed this workout. If you did, my 10 minute plan is absolute for you because they're all 10 minute workouts scheduled out for you to give you a peace of mind and a stick to itiveness that you have the schedule, you just need to follow. You just click and go and I literally coach you through everything via full length videos. It takes all of the guesswork out plus all my favorite recipes, my top 30 favorite favorite recipes are in there as well. But again, for runner's legs, I did strength training from Lean Fast Strong Cable Plan, number one. Number two, my cardio series um, that comes out of the vault off and on once in a while. The next time it's coming out is Mother's Day 2023, just for three days over that weekend. So that's when the cardio series coming. And then this simple box routine. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and you get so many more workouts from me. So be sure that you're subscribed on YouTube and thank you for being here. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.